would your aspirants every year when you start preparing for the UPSC current affairs you come across endangered species threatened species new species rediscovered species and so many species that finally you are like leave it i am not going to study any of these species but here we at IAS Baba have made this task so simple for you. So much to the point that we present before you the top 20 species for prelims 2023. So join us and find out who are the most important species for this exam. At your 20th spot, we have a plant species, the Avicenia marina. Now, some of you might be knowing this as a mangrove species. Now, what is so special about this mangrove species? This species is so rare in its properties, so much to the point where it is salt secreting and extraordinarily salt tolerant. Now, when I say salt tolerant, you have to understand it can grow in almost 75% of seawater. It is an amazing plant that opens to us the possibilities of what all mangroves can be grown in extremely saline conditions. And here, adding to its very, very rare features, you also see that it can excrete almost 40% of the salt through the salt glands that is present in its leaves. This is a wonder mangrove plant. Now, the reason why it is in the 20th spot is because this year, we have undertaken the genome sequencing of this plant, which is your Avicenia marina. Now, the scientists have done the entire genome sequencing and kept it as a reference grade so that from now onwards, whenever we want to do any research for any dry land farming or salt resistant plants, this genomes of the Avicenia marina will be used to do the research. Amazing, right? Now, coming on to the species on the 19th position, we have the red crowned roofed turtle. Okay, now you have to understand this year is a very important year for turtles because India has moved on to the sites, which is a very important international organization that tries to ensure safe trade in wild animals. And we have moved over there and we've recommended some species for inclusion into the sites list. One of them being the red crowned roofed turtle. So here, commonly known by its name Batagur Kachuga, we know something else which is having a very similar name which is a Batagur Baska, which is a northern river terrapin. Quite different from that is the Batagur Kachuga, which is here on my side over here. It's native to India and Bangladesh. And in India, you have the National Chambal River Gharial Sanctuary as the most common area where you can come across this critically endangered species. Now, quite a pointer for you to understand over here. When we talk about the National Chambal River Gharial Sanctuary, it occurs at the tri-junction point between three states. Now, if you're watching this video, I want you to go and find out which are those three states and let me know in the comments below. Now, adding on to the extra points, very recently, your red crowned roof turtle has been added into the Appendix 1 of sites. And Appendix 1 of sites gives the highest protection for any wildlife animal which is existing. Moving on to the 18th species, we have the Elvira rat or something that we all know as the large rock rat. Now, this rat, though you can see, though it has a very grand name, it's quite a small animal. It's a nocturnal rodent and it's found only in the Aircard Hills of Eastern Ghats. Quite important over here because this is a very rare occurrence. It does not occur anywhere else. It's only found in the Eastern Ghats, specifically in the Yerkad Hills. Now, you also have to understand it is not found in any protected areas in India. So, the Yerkad Hills is not a protected area. It's just a geographical location and you find the Elvira rat over there. Adding on to one added information about this rat is it belongs to the genus Cremnomus. 
Now, to understand how serious is the case of the species, this genus which is called as Crenormus has only two kinds of rat species underneath it. One is your Elvira rat and the other one is something called as a Kutch rat. Which means if the Elvira rat goes extinct, half of that genus is gone extinct. So now you know how important this species is to that entire family of organisms. Now to add to this, as I told you, here it is a critically endangered species. And because it is a critically endangered species, it becomes even more important that we start preserving it. And the shocker of all is here. I told you it's a critically endangered species. I told you it requires so much of our protection. But until very recently, the Elvira rat was in the Schedule 5 of the Wildlife Protection Act of India. And we all know what Schedule 5 means. Schedule 5 means vermin. So then, because it was a rat, it was put under the vermin category very recently through the amendments of the Wildlife Protection Act. We've done away with the entire category called as vermin. So that's an additional information for you at this point. So now it has to be seen under what category or under what schedule the Elvira rat will be put into. And now coming on to the 17th species, which is there, you have the black necked crane. A very beautiful creature, I must say. You are seeing that it is recently declared as the state bird of Ladakh. And it is a very important bird in the Monpa community, which is a Buddhist community. Now, when I say this itself, you would be knowing which are the major areas where it is located in. In India, eastern Ladakh happens to be the only breeding ground for this bird. Now, on the entire globe also, after China, Eastern Ladakh happens to be the only breeding ground for this bird. Adding on to it, it comes to Arunachal Pradesh in winters as part of its migratory route. It is in the IUCN red list of near threatened. So here is a pointer. It's not critically endangered. It's not endangered. It falls under the category of near threatened. But despite all this, it features in our 17th spot because of these two reasons. Several news articles have dealt with the sightings of black neck crane, the Monpa community which is involved in there. And that is why the 17th spot in our list is taken by the black necked crane. To add to it, it falls under the appendix 1 of sites and it is protected by the Indian Wildlife Protection Act Schedule 1. Now with that, we've done with the 17th spot. Have we got you hooked onto this list? I want you to be stay tuned to this space to find out which are the other species. And if you want to know more of such information, if you want to be on the track for your prelims preparation, we present before you our own exclusive prelims exclusive program for 2023. This is considered to be one of the most comprehensive prelims classroom programs. As you can see over here, it has one-on-one -on -one mentorship. It has exclusive strategy classes by prelims experts. It has exclusive almost 375 plus hours of classes by various subject experts. And not to forget, you have your current affair classes, the handouts associated with it. And to top it all out, we focus on the target that you should be solving at least 6,000 multiple choice questions before you face the prelims exam. And we've designed this entire program for that sake. Now, the second batch of the program has already begun on January 23rd. I urge all of you to keep a note of this and join the program for more interesting information and classes such as these.